Today I'm giving away three of these decks of cards, the Magnum Force playing cards. I'm giving away three of these decks, one to three different people. In addition, also revealing this deck of cards, absolutely beautiful 80s themed deck. And if you want to see all of that and more, and how to get this deck for 60% off, yes, it's a $15 deck that you can get for $6. If you want all that and more, stay for this video, subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it right now. So first let's look at what these playing cards actually look like. Let's get this seal off of these puppies. Don't need that. Don't need that. And now let's actually look at the box. So the front of it um, is done with some really fun embossing, which I did not expect from this deck. It says Magnum Force. Um, done in some really cool uh, purple and dark blue, light blue. Some reds, some whites. A lot more colors than you would originally think that would be on this deck, and a lot more variants of color. Um, the front just says Magnum Force and playing cards. The side says Magnum Force. And the other side does as well. The bottom has some ad copy. Let's see if we can get that into focus real quick. There we go. The back has a two sided snake with each of the four uh, suits in the corners. In addition, these sides do have the hearts. Um, the top we'll look at in a second. So, but first we have to take off the standard USPCC seal, which I cannot stand seals. I really can't. That's just a personal preference. Um, when I create my deck, which I am in the process of doing, I will not be using a seal because I can not stand seals unless they are 100% custom. But these things, I throw away. All right, now on the inside of the tuck flap, you also see a diamond right there. And on the top, you see a heart with a wraparound, like cigar band, all the way from here to here. I wish that would... It doesn't go to there, that's odd. It only goes from Magnum all the way to there. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom, which I do find strange. Either way, when you open that up, that is all that's on the inside. And you do have two more logos here, although I'm not quite sure what they are. That, those are kind of strange looking, like two sided spire looking logos. If you know what those logos are actually for, let me know. Either way, there's nothing else on the inside of, of the box, as you can see. So that's all I can say about the tuck box. I'll leave that over there, like I always do. And now let's get into the playing cards. These cards have no border, which makes them a fantastic deck. I love borderless playing cards, another thing that will be happening on my deck. So it is the same thing as the back of the Tuck box with the two-sided um, Cobra. Love this 80s theme, looks really good. And even just the artwork around it makes it look like um, it's a kind of exploding on the outside. You have this like white flash in the center and on both of these sides. You can see its eyes are all white. His tongue's flaring out like it's going to attack. Honestly, it's super intricate detail in this. Absolutely love all the attention to detail. And because it is a borderless design, fans are going to look beautiful, as you can tell. This is why I love borderless designs, because fans look amazing. Just look at that. Jeez, that looks good. No matter how you try to fan this, you cannot mess up. You can't mess up a fan with these playing cards because they're borderless. Even if you're not very good at, one, at fanning with both hands, they're just amazing. That's what I love. But I mean, Jesus, look at that. Let me just give a quick spread. Look at that. Man, love this. All right. Before we get into any further, let's get into what these cards look like, and then we'll get into how they feel and who should pick them up and how you guys can win them and all the other stuff. So first, what they look like, you're going to have two jokers here, one with a blue background and one with a red background. And honestly, I don't know what these creatures are. That's just the truth. They look like com combinations of 84 creatures, um, clearly 80s cartoon theme, um, not real, obviously. Um, 
I want you guys to take your guesses of what the combinations are to make these. Like, are you going to take a pig, a piranha? Uh, those were the first two things that came to mind when I saw this. was The first thing was a pig, maybe like a Santa beard. Um, like, give me what you guys would think, say, for the blue one, and then give me what you think it is, and same for the red one. Now we have for the spades, here's the, um, the I, you're going to see the silhouette of this as the pip for all these, which is kind of cool. You have this like skull and it says beast corpse. This is your ace of spades. And I love how it has this um, purple cigar band here and custom everything. So the ace, like oh, the custom font looks fantastic. It's all done in this like light blue, almost like a whitish blue, which is really, really cool. Not, it's like even lighter than a baby blue. And all of them are done in purple. You have standard placement, but you do not have, clearly do not have standard uh, indices. Oh, that's not custom. I mean, that's not standard placement. That's fun. So the seven and the eight and the nine and ten are all custom placement as well. Clearly all custom court cards. Those are fun. So for your jack, you have a man with a chainsaw. And then for the queen, you have this monster with an eyeball coming out of its mouth. And then you have another like dragon looking thing for the king of spades, which as so far, that one has to be my favorite. You have diamond all stars for your diamonds. And you have like shriekens for the pips. I can't wait to fa fan this one. And you have these more like so the first ones were like ninjas. These are like ninjas, the first ones are monsters. So you have a ninja here, you have uh, like a pop singer for the queen of diamonds. And you have a like a warrior for your king. Now for your king of clubs, you have a guy with a gun, He's like a space guy with a gun. You Or like, um, like Mad Max type of feel. You have a insane lady with a mohawk, the skull on her arm, and a bow for her arm. This is kind of crazy. I'm loving this 80s theme. That's just what it is. I'm loving this 80s theme. And you have like a lizard man for the, for the jack. And then these are all skulls with the omega sign on their foreheads. And then for the Ace of Clubs, you have, oh, it was Omega, Omega Syndicate. One of the reason I know that is from Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. Fantastic movie. Watched that when I was little. If you've seen that, let me know, because me and Greek mythology, love that stuff. Um, we have, like, a martial arts for our hearts. I wish that they would have found a way to give him the king with a headache type of feel. I think that would have been kind of cool. By the way, you have that there. And then you have like a robot gun, gun woman for the Queen of Hearts. And then an insane dude that has a gun. He kind of just looks like a lunatic. That's really it. He has a robot arm. He has a gun here, a gun here, and a bunch of rounds on wrapped around him. Then you have cobras for the hearts. And instead of the purple, you have the blue at the top instead, of course, for reds. Forgot to mention that. And you have Viper Squad. Now, you have a duplicate Joker here, but it is a reveal. You have a two of clubs reveal. Is that spades? That's spades. You have a two of spades reveal there. And then, in addition to that, you have a duplicate. You have a queen of clubs here. But when you flip it over, you have a king of hearts, which is great for magic effects. Super fun that they put that in there. So you have two magic effects you have with that. Uh, fanning it this way looks good, but I feel like fanning it this way is going to look even better. Let's wait and see this. Oh, yeah, because then you have that band there. So this way you have the really, really big pips and the indices. Sorry. You have really big indices coming this way, and then coming this way, you have that cigar band coming all the way around, which is really fun. All right. Um, not only this, but you also want to know how it feels, what it looks like in the giant fan, etc. 
So first, let's go to how it pharaohs. Um, top to bottom, pharaohs beautifully. Bad cut on my part, was not even. But oh, that was, let's try that again. That was not very smooth. Not the card's fault, that was just a bad fan. Take two. I'll admit my weakness. So you can clearly see that uh, when it's just mo mostly the Cobras, it doesn't look as good as when it's more just the actual fan itself. Um, let's also try uh, bottom to top because you guys want to know every single way on how it pharaohs. So bottom to top looks good as well. Did I just do bottom to top last time? I'm going to do top to bottom again. Okay, so it fans the same way both ways. It pharaohs beautifully. Let's give it a little bit of a cascade action just because it's fun. Yeah, super easy to pharaoh. That was really awful, but this angle is really difficult. Um, let's check out how this deck feels. It feels like a USPCC deck. I didn't actually check it ahead of time. Um, I'm really just doing more like a first impression like I do with all of my decks. It's just, I open it up and I see what I like and I see what I don't like and what I observe. So if you guys pick out something that I don't observe, I would love to see what you guys think of it. Um, now, who do I think this deck would be for? And then I'll get into how you can get it for 60% off and how you can win some for free and all that other stuff. Um, either way, this deck is such a beautiful feeling deck. Um, it's not thick. It feels a lot like just a standard bicycle deck. It's kind of like the, the springiness of it. It feels like a standard bicycle deck. That's really what it feels like. It's it's still smooth on the sides. I'd say it might be slightly thinner. So if like bicycle deck was like a five, I'd put this like a four and a half. Like it's not much thinner, but it might be just a little bit. Yeah, so good catch, Lige. All right, so first let's see who would like this deck. So clearly, I think Magicians would like this deck. It was built for Magicians in a lot of ways. Um, it has like duplicate cards. It has like the duplicate Jokers with the reveal. Um, it has the two-sided card. I think people could like recognize cards pretty quickly. Um, that might be a little bit of a problem between like the nine of spades versus like like an eight of clubs. Like knowing the difference between the two would be kind of difficult. Remembering that the skulls are the clubs, and then that the other skulls are the spades. Like that might be a little bit difficult. But I think once you got used to it, you could definitely use this for magic. Um, depending on like you don't want to do like a sight force or anything like that. But I think you could. I think you could make it work. Um, Clearly, I think Cardus could use could use this one because it's a borderless deck. Two, because of how big the Cobra's heads are on both sides. Um, I think when you're doing pack cuts, it's gonna look fine. Yeah, I think you could clearly do Cardus Drew with this. I don't think that'd be a problem. Um, I th yeah, this would be just fine to do that with. And then let's see who else could use this. Ooh, collectors and gameplay. Collectors, if you like things from the 80s, this is your stuff. Like, I am an old soul. Like, I watched He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. I watched um, Thundercats. That was kind of like my childhood, even though I'm 19 and was born in 2000. Where's my 2000 crew at? Uh, I still watched more shows that were a little bit more 80s. So this is a lot more my theme. So... Clearly, if you're a collector, you can definitely pick this deck up. That would make a lot of sense. Probably the most sense so far. Either this or Cardus. Plus, for Cardus, you have that band there that's always fun. Um, and then, gameplay, I think, would just be a lot of fun using these cards. You pull out this at a game. Um, probably not for, like, a professional poker match. But just for, like, coming out with some friends and playing some either poker or hearts or blackjack or whatever it is. This would just be a really fun deck to pick up um, yeah so now let me show you guys how you can win this deck and get it for only six dollars instead of fifteen dollars that is usually 
supposed to be purchased for. So let's get into that right now. So I really hope you guys like this deck, all the embossing that was done on the tuck case and the amount of thought and process that went into these cards. Um, once again, I want to thank Rare Playing Cards for sending me this deck. If you guys want to pick it up, head down to the description, use code MAGNUMFORCE to get only this deck for 60% off. Use code MAGNUMFORCE, go to the link in the description. You have to, it's going to be helpful if you go there because then I actually make a little bit, couple of money, couple of money. It doesn't cost you anything more. It just helps me out. I make a little bit. You get 60% off. So it goes from $15 to $6 for this deck. Get as many of them as you want to. That's ridiculous. You can buy three decks and be paying only another $3 instead of paying buying one deck. Ridiculous. Or you can use code CARDPERFECTMAGICIAN, all lowercase, all one word, and get 15% off any deck on the store. And that can you use either any deck or literally anything in the store. So it can be a card clip, it can be anything. Card Perfect Magician, go through the link in the description, and that's how you can do it. Now, if you are wanting one of these for free, I'm giving away three of them. Three different people will win one of these for free. And if you're wanting to know how to do that, you have to go check out the giveaway video. So I will link that right up here, down in the description, and it'll be popping up on the screen in a second. So, before you click that, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you can get notified when I post new giveaways, new things that where you can get stuff for cheaper, more magic content, more deck reviews, the whole nine yards. Go check out Rare Playing Cards, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect, signing off.